This tutorial will introduce you to the function of pins and gives you an overview how to create spectra for certain pixels with the Spectrum View tool. At first you have to open a product containing spectral information. In this case we have a Maris Level 1 product. Open an RGB image or a single band to visualize your product. In the toolbar you can find the pin placing tool. When clicking on it, the mouse changes from the selection tool into the pin tool and you can place new pins. For example on water, on land or on a cloud. To further work with the pins you need the pen manager. By default it's not shown in the toolbar. You can open the pin manager by view, tool windows and then pin manager. You can also add it to the toolbar to have it always in hand. Then you have to click View, Toolbars, and then Views. Then it shows up in your toolbar. The pixel position in the raster coordinates, as well as the geographical coordinates of your pin, are displayed in the pin manager. If you want, you can colorize them or rename them. Add a new pin by latitude or longitude by creating it with your chosen coordinates or with the pixel position. Then it shows up in your image. If you want to view the actual data of the pin location, you can use the filter button. In order to select what is shown in the pin manager. For example, the radiances 1, 2 and 3. Then it also will be displayed in the pin manager window. With these two buttons, you can either export your selected pins, for example them, or you can import multiple pins. Selected pins can also be deleted, copied or edited. Another helpful tool is the Spectrum View. With the Spectrum View tool found on the toolbar, you are able to have a look at the spectra for several pixels. You can choose between displaying the curves position, selected pins, or all pins. Activate the button for displaying all spectra of your pins. If you want to compare the spectra of your pins with the other pixel spectra, move your mouse over the displayed image. Press and hold shift to adjust the y-axis to the local values of the current pixel. Selected pins can be displayed separately. When clicking with the left mouse button in the chart, a marker is shown on the spectrum line. This marker moves along with the mouse pointer. At the same time, the x and y values corresponding to the marker position are shown in the upper left corner. By drawing a rectangle from the upper left to the lower right on the chart, you can zoom into this region. If you draw the rectangle from the lower right to the upper left, the zooming is set back to the default. At the 11th band you can see the oxygen absorption. If you choose the spectrum chooser, you can um, choose between the bands that should be displayed in the spectrum view, within the spectral wavelength and the spectral bandwidth and the unit. So if you choose now the 11th band, it will disappear in our spectrum view. Within the spectrum chooser, you also can change properties like line style, the symbol, or the symbol size. You can also right click on the chart and then select properties. Here you can change several settings, for example, the title of the chart, settings of the plot or background. 
From the context menu you can also save your chart as an image to the disk. For more information or further questions, you can visit the SNAP forum with the link below. Thank you for watching.